Okay, back in June I put that passive air vent in here to alleviate some of the condensation I was having uh, with the heating and the cooling in the morning. It was causing water droplets to form on the top of the container and drip down all over everything. Plus it was causing some mold to grow. Uh, so I put that passive air vent in. You might uh, want to look back at my videos and you can see see the video when I did that. And Anyway, when I did do that video I said, look, if this thing doesn't work uh, I'm going to have to upgrade to a Whirly Bird well. Guess what? It did not work. Uh, as fall comes and I'm starting to have some more of that problem. So apparently it's not, still not enough airflow. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm replacing that uh, passive air room with an active Whirly Bird air vent with a, about a four inch bigger round hole. Anyway, having to pull this thing off has been a real beast because, you know, I, I siliconed around it and screwed it into the ground or screwed it into the thing well you turn the screws and they don't do anything because it's basically glued on there like cement so what I'm having to do is take this this chisel and pop the top off every screw and then then I'll pull it off and obviously there's not going to be anything left to this this vent is going to be trash but <clears throat> still left with the shank of the screw in every one of the holes I, I guess I'll decide when I get there whether I want to drill those out or whether I just want to leave them in there and drill new holes for, for the new Whirly Bird. Anyway, uh, luckily it's nice and cool out today. It's probably about 58 degrees right now. It's beautiful weather. It's partly cloudy. And uh, it's just beautiful out here. Great day to be alive. Great day to be changing out air vents. See ya.